Today, this is the Kiwi property market on the turn. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analysis Well, this post covering finance and property news. The Real Estate Institute of New Zealand's House Price Index has reported a 16.7% decline nationally from the market peak that was reached back in 2021. And this has taken real inflation-adjusted house prices back to their pre-pandemic level at the start of 2020. But... Of course, in August, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand cut the official cash rate by 0.25% and has signalled that significant further cuts will be made over the next 18 months or so. And business confidence took a leg up, bouncing to a net 51% positive from just 6% in response, banking on the end of the recession which has gripped the country. But net migration is also falling away rapidly, according to Statistics New Zealand, and we are seeing more property coming on the market with inventories up by about 30% compared to last year, while sales volumes are a little down compared to last year. And more property is also being subsequently withdrawn from markets, failing to find a buyer at the desired asking price. So net net, it seems likely that as we go into spring and summer in New Zealand, demand might be higher thanks to lower rates, but offset by lower migration, while supply is higher, but transaction volumes are lower. Which begs the question, are we seeing the property market turning? Well, the latest report, or should that be marketing document from the REINZ for August, shows, quote, signs of increased confidence, optimism and activity compared to the previous year. While the overall sales volume declined slightly, Several regions reported notable increase in activity and year-on-year listing numbers continue to rise, they said. And they also say that the national median price decreased by 0.6% year-on-year from $770,000 to $765,000, but did increase by 1.3% month-on-month. Auckland prices are down 4% at 960,000 compared to last year, though up 1.2% season adjusted last month. And for New Zealand, excluding Auckland, the median price increased 1.6% year on year from 670,000 to 681,000, and month on month, the median price increased by 1.8%. Six of the 16 regions had a median price increase year on year with Otago leading the way with a 6.7% increase to $640,000, followed closely by the West Coast with a 6.6% increase to $357,000. Eight regions increased month on month, with the most notable changes served in Marlborough up 7.8% to $625,000 and Gisborne up 6% to $620,000. Compared to August 2023, The total number of properties sold nationally decreased by 0.7%, that's 40 properties, from 5,725 to 5,685, and decreased by 5.1% month-on-month from 5,992 to 5,685. In the regions, eight regions saw an increase in sales in August 2024, and the most notable increases were in Northland, up 22.7%, Hawke's Bay, up 21.6%, and the Bay of Plenty, up 16.2%. Compared to July 2024, five regions saw an increase in sales volumes. Staying in the regions, 13 of the 15 have seen a rise in new listings year-on-year, with the most notable increases recorded in Gisborne, up 69.2% and Marlborough up 40.8%. Two regions saw a decrease in new listings year on year, Nelson down 18.1% and Northland down 11.1%. Nationally, there was an 8.1% increase in new listings compared to August 2023. The national inventory level increased by 30%, that's up 6,830 properties in August, from 22,750 to 29,579 year on year, and decreased by 3.2%, that's down 977, from 30,556 month on month. 
For New Zealand, excluding Auckland, inventory levels increased 30.8%. That's up 4,348 year on year from 14,099 to 18,447 and decreased 2.4%. That's down 460 compared to June 2024. And compared to August 2023, the median days to sell increased by eight days from 42 to 50 days nationally. For New Zealand, excluding Auckland, median days to sell increased by six days from 43 to 49. Year on year, five regions had fewer days to sell in August 2024 than in August 2023, and Northland had the highest median days to sell at 71 days, an increase of 10 days year on year. We continue to see an increase in the average number of properties listed, although the inventory is down slightly compared to last month, the volume of properties for sale continues to provide a lot of choice for buyers, the REINZ said. There were 656 auctions nationally in August 2024, 11.5% of all sales, compared to 799 or 10.9% of all sales in August 2023. The Auckland region called 335 auctions in August 2024, that's 18.6% of all sales, compared to 492 auctions or 25.5% of all sales in August 2023. There is an expectation that rates will fall further towards the end of this year, providing the much needed relief for property owners and those in the position to buy, which may increase sales volumes nationwide, the REINZ said. The house price index for New Zealand stood at 3,563 in August 2024. That's a 0.8% decrease from August 2023, and there was no change compared to July 2024. The average annual growth in the New Zealand house price index over the past five years have been 5% per annum, and it is currently 16.7% below the market peak reached in 2021. Southland is the top ranked region in August with a 3% increase year on year. So all up, it's probably too soon to talk about an uptick in property values, but there may well be more properties coming on the market and an uptick in sales to boot. Further rate cuts will help. And of course, the looser regulation on investment properties may also assist, but then of course, less demand from migrants too. So it's probably way too early to declare victory for now. The REINZ Chief Executive Jen Baird said August provided a sense of confidence and positivity to the property market. I would remain more cautious. Auckland still seems to be more exposed, while some South Island markets, though smaller, are more positive. But to me, there is still considerable uncertainty ahead. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.